Hola a todos, bienvenidos una vez más a mi canal. En esta oportunidad vamos a revivir la historia de Arthur Morgan y la banda de Dutch Vanderlyn. Conoceremos los sucesos que desencadenaron los hechos del Red Dead Redemption 1. A mi parecer, uno de los mejores juegos de PC de los últimos años, tanto por su historia, por su calidad gráfica y por la interacción lograda con todo el mundo abierto del western. Obviamente, de la mano de Rockstars Games, como no podía ser de otra manera. Quiero aclarar que esto no será un speedrun del juego. Lo vamos a tomar con calma, disfrutando de la historia y sus misiones secundarias. Tampoco quiero interrumpir mucho con mis comentarios. Haré algunos durante las partidas, tratando de no ser invasivo. La idea es ir trayendo poco a poco en distintos videos el progreso y tratando de marcar las misiones por si a alguien le interesa ir directamente a esa parte. Por último, quiero decir que al principio de la historia eh, mi voz escucha algo baja por unos problemas técnicos que fueron solucionados un poco más adelante. Si tienen algún comentario o sugerencia para mejorar, no dudes en dejármelo escrito ahí en un comentario. Lo voy a estar leyendo. Si le das like y te suscribís, te lo voy a agradecer infinitamente. Sin más que decir, les dejo este pedazo de juego y bueno, espero que los disfruten. En 1899, la era de los forajidos y los pistoleros estaba llegando a su fin. Estados Unidos se estaba convirtiendo en una tierra de leyes. Incluso el salvaje oeste estaba a punto de desaparecer. quedaban algunas bandas que eran perseguidas y destruidas. Rockstars Games Presents Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Oh. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he... You know... An old man in town. Abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Capítulo 1. Bring him in here.
Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we going to do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're going to stay here, and you are going to get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike a scout now to head. Arthur and I, we're going to ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this, just for a short bit, and I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it. Gladly. But we are going to ride out and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're going to be, we're going to be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work to do. We ain't run into them yet, so... They both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. You. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. Bye. Right. We need you strong. Okay. All right. Let's head out. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. It's been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. here. people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got fire and shelter. Wait, is that someone coming towards us? Easy. You up ahead! Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. 
It sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Er, <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean. We don't know. Quite a business. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Move up, Arthur. I'll cover the rear. This, Micah? Mr. Morgan, I never thought I would be so pleased to see your face. Been kind of lonely out here. Where's everyone else? Old mining camp back up the hill. Huddled around a fire waiting for daddy to put food on the table. I've said it before, we got too many mouths to feed. Okay, let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Parece que vamos a tener que copar el rancho ese. Hey. Okay. Let's head down there. Hitch up here. Let me do the talking. We don't want to scare these folks. Someone's having fun in there. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Micah, hide behind that wagon. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of you. Sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some yeah, trouble <laughs> up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> folks. There's a corpse right here. Now, I, I just Arthur, need some there's a body of food in the wagon. Uh, I hear you. Just... Gentlemen. Keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now. Come on, Tito. Now, I ain't asking for much. Please. I am. Over there! Corta la bocha, viejo. Too well. Goddamn, 
Micah, don't bring the horses closer to the house. Arthur, let's go search the cabin. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Oh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. Get your strengths up for the ride back. up here too big old pool of blood on the floor here i saw probably the poor bastard who lived here micah found a dead body in the wagon outside there's a big price on colm o'driscoll's head nearly as big as the one on yours wanting colm dead is about the only thing me and uncle sam agree on oh looks like the poor bastard was married too at some point if we can't eat it or drink it Put it down. <laughs> Place is dry, warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Keep searching while I pack these on the horses. Grab anything you think we can use, then meet me out here. See Micah, going on. Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. Bueno, vamos a granero. En el granero seguro me encuentra a alguien que me veo. Southwest of here, near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. No, Please. Ya acaba matando porque si no va y avisa después. ¿Qué pasa si se? Oh, 
pasa que... Esto lo tuve que hacer fiambre porque si no, la típica. Va, le avisa a los compas y cagamos. Esto lejano a esto. ¿Qué va a hacer? ¿Es ese bastard still in there? He's dealt with. Good. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. Get that horse hitch. Don't want him bolting. No, she ain't, Michael. Look at her. Miss, miss. Are you. Fucking oh, fool, Michael. Miss. Now, it is gonna be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss, miss. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here. Quick. Come on now. Oh. Are you okay, miss? They came three days ago. And my husband, they... Okay. Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. You come with us. Of course. Miss, it's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay. Get on. Some oh, we'll keep away. you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, Miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I. Sadie. He. He was my husband. Micah found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. I'm and Mrs. Adler, you know. it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? How come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? <laughs> get yourself to bed. Bueno, que jugaron al, algunos saben que Bill es uno de los que buscamos, ¿no? Pero yo no. Ahora que vamos a ir atando cabos a lo largo de la historia. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? 
I need you to... I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. And he looked for me. Thank you. <sighs> Javier al otro lado de la banda que vamos a buscar. Best I know, John was headed up the river. Javier es bueno. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Vamos a ver qué pasó con John. Let's take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. Ha! Now I got a map, You were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. And suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Raining bullets. Take it slow. Big ravine here. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. We continue along the cliff wall here. Davy got shot. Mac and John both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Damn snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. Not very wide here. Come on, boy. Horses are getting tired. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. Uh, I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again.
John was riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Let's see if he can hear us. Come on! Up there! Adelante! He's coming from up ahead somewhere. I don't think we can go much further on the horses. We'll have to walk from here. I grabbed that shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? Grab your shotgun. Come on. You sure about this? It's coming from this way. Okay. Watch out here. Mierda, that we're high up here. <laughs> You're telling me. There's a drop here. It's slippery, be careful. Watch your head here. Okay, from here. Watch your step. This is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up this way. Come on. Over here. Oh, that sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, John. Let's keep moving then. Come on. John! John! Marston, you hear me? Over here! Down to the ledge! That's John! We're coming! He's down here. That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but it's good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. I'm freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. Ahora sabemos, ¿no? Porque tiene la cicatriz. Chancita. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See? I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. You all right? I don't think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. You see that on the ridge? Oh, 
perro. I'll ¿no? distract him while you get to the horses. Go. Draw them off. Dipping out. Okay, here we go, John. We'll leave them to Arthur. Okay. Oh. Hey, over here! We're getting you out of here. Get back. No podemos chorear acá las pieles de una. some shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. None of us are lucky right now. You should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, We're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving? Damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. Come on! Someone help John down off this horse! Can we get some help here? Can we get some help? We need some help here! Come on, help him down. You're alive! You're alive! Right, here we go. There we go. Ay, oh. careful, idiotas! It's his leg! Well, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you, thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're going to get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss, let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Recuperamos a John. Vamos a ver cómo sigue esto. We have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. <laughs> 